Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, hello, can you hear me, everyone? Yes. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine. I'm fine. <laughs> very good, very because good. Because it's Friday. <laughs> because it's Friday, definitely. Any plans for the weekend, everyone? Uh, yes. Aha, uh -huh, tell I... me. Uh, uh, I going no, uh -huh. no sé si está correcto try, I'm, try I'm going to the beach oh, tomorrow sounds good <laughs> um, which beach? Costa del Sol, uh, el Tunca Beach no uh, Los Conos oh, sounds good yeah. Good for you, good for you. Excellent. Just be careful, please. Can you swim? Can you re repeat? Can you can you swim? Ah, uh, no, no. You can't. No, I can't. Okay. All right. So in that case, be careful, my, please. My my foot. Uh, como, how do you say calambre? <laughs> Cuando um, nado. Se me acalambra el <laughs> Okay. Well, el, if you want if you want to say calambre, you can say crump with the letter P crump. at the end. Crump. Ah, okay. Okay. So <laughs> you feel crump when you swim. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that sounds painful. Okay, but I hope you can enjoy that day. You deserve it. Very good. Who else, Thank everyone? You. Tell me, what are your plans for the weekend? Uh huh. Anything interesting? No plans for the weekend. We had to celebrate. Uh huh. Tony, tell me. Take care of my father. <laughs> All right. Is he better now? Mm, or improving a little bit? Yes, it's probably a little bit bad, not that I think or why I hope, but um, well, uh, it's, uh, it's probably then tomorrow we will to make another um, test. All right. Um, I hope that he will soon better. Yeah, little by little, all mm -hmm. right, but good I hope he gets better soon. Thank Very you. good. So good job because you are taking care of him that's what a good son does very good all right who else who else tell me anyone what are the plans for the weekend remember it's friday uh-huh no more plans all right remember today is a very special friday do you know why the last one ah yeah. good job are you ready everyone for the next level or do you want to repeat <laughs> no right okay i'm ready for the You're next ready? level <laughs> that's the attitude so today we are going to review some important activities all right and you have to prove that you are ready for the next level okay i don't want mistakes if i listen to you like mm, you don't know the answer you are not pretty sure let's go back to the level six again <laughs> okay so i just want to be sure that you are ready okay so I really want to everybody try to participate today because that's the intention. Everybody talks, please. So we are going to talk about different topics. And please, if there is a topic that you don't understand very well, if there is a topic that you see like, teacher, I didn't understand the topic during the course. Okay, tell me, okay? If you want to review a specific topic tell me so this is the moment so for the next level you can feel totally confident okay don't forget everyone uh, to always review okay 
the things that you are in the level C, uh, intermediate doesn't mean that you don't have to review the topics from the uh, beginners levels, okay? Beginners is the basis, okay? So always try to review, always practice, okay? So thank you so much for being on time, everyone. I'm going to share the presentation. Let's see, let's see. Okay, can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, excellent. Yes, so today is February 24th, and you did it, everyone. Congratulations, we finished the level. You could do it. <laughs> so we are ready for the intermediate. Right, everybody? Ready, right? Yes. I mean, hello, hello. Good Welcome evening. to the class. Good evening. Good evening. I, I'm still driving. Oh, okay. No worries. Be careful, please. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, everybody. Uh, today is the last day of this level. Can you remember the topics that we studied during this Model 6? Uh huh. Can you tell me yeah. the topics? Simple. Uh, simple. Uh, ah, very good. Yeah. Exactly. So we checked simple present, simple past, the pronunciation of the regular verbs. What else? Frequency adverbs. Very good. Frequency adverbs. You said do. Was and where. Ah, very good. Was and where when we talk simple past. Good job. Anything else? What else do you remember? You used to. Used to. Good job. Uh -huh. Very good. Very good. The auxiliary did. And the auxiliary, even? correct. Remember, we studied affirmative, negative, and questions form of the simple past. Good job, good job. Anything else that you remember, everyone? The feature in the past. Very onto. good job. Excellent. So I can see you remember some of the topics. Very good job. Okay, what was the most difficult topic during this level for you? What do you think? Memorize the irregular verbs. The irregular verbs, memorize them. Yeah, that's difficult. I know, I know. Who else? Pronunciation, the past regular verbs. Okay, yes, that's a little bit difficult too. Hmm, definitely. Anything else? Another topic that you felt difficult during this level? In my class, art. Which one? In, in my class, art. Oh. The past, all the topics. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. All right. Now, which one did you feel that it was like mm, kind of easy? Which topic do you feel mm, not so complicated? Uh huh. And used to. Used to. Very good. What else? Another easy topic for you? For example, I don't know if you remember, but we checked can and can't. Do you remember that topic? Yes. So yes. What else? Was it difficult or easy? Easy, easy. easy. Ah, that was easy, right? So if you see everyone, we had different topics. Some of them are a little bit more complicated than others, okay? So <clears throat> the topics that you feel a little bit more difficult, those are the topics that you need to continue practicing, okay? Always review the vocabulary and always try to learn more vocabulary. The vocabulary that we can learn here in the class, it's like 
little. We don't learn so much words, so you need to give extra mile and learn. Okay, try to use apps, try to check on internet, videos, music. Okay, so that's your extra mile. All right, now today basically we are going to have a general review and the objectives is that I want you guys that you prove that you remember the topics studied during the course. Okay, so I want to everybody participate. I want to see that you truly remember the topics, the structure, and that the topics are totally clear. If you have questions, if there is something that you don't remember, okay, tell me so I can explain again. All right. Now let's start with this topic. This is a topic that we studied in the unit number one, time expressions. Do you remember this topic? Yes. 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 Everybody? <laughs> a couple of people said yes, and the rest of you? Hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Edwin is very honest. <laughs> and the rest? Can you remember the time expressions that we studied? Uh huh. I will help you um, with time. Uh huh. Oh, Four. Weekly, monthly. Um. Mm, but those are more frequency adverbs. Oh, and then? It's uh, a little bit diff different. Time okay. expressions, for example, if I say until, for, until, yes. What else? While. Yes. From. From. What else? Before. Yes. What else? What else do you remember? Since. Since. Good job. So, yeah, everyone. Those are some of the uh, time expressions that we study. We have more time expressions, but these are like the most common one. In the next levels, you will learn a little bit more. So can you explain me how we can use for? Let's see if you remember. Period of time. Ah, period of time. Can I say um, for? For example, I studied English for last year. Is that correct? I studied English for last year. Can I say that? Mm. No, teacher. I think no, not. right? You need to say some specific. Ah, how Time. about how about if I say I've studied English for three months? Yes, yes. Ah, uh -huh. yes. very good, exactly. So, period of time. So we need to say how much time we have been doing the action, the period. So you can say for years, for days, for a week, for months. Okay, period of time. So what is the difference when we are talking about scenes? Scenes used for a specific time in a period. Okay. For example, can I say, um, I drink coffee since one year or since uh, 10 months. Can no, I say that? specific period in the past. Ah, so if you see, we need to say everybody when the action started. That is the use of scene, as your classmate says, is a specific point in the past. So you had to tell me when did you start the action? In this case, I have worked there since 2005. I've been studying English since 
2019, for example. All right. Now, how can I use from? Do you remember everyone? From, hmm. You don't remember? So I think that we need to review this topic before going to intermediate level. When you have a period of time, but specifically, specifically, uh -huh. you start and then you finish. Very good. So as your classmate says, when we use from, basically we specified when you start and when you finish. Okay, for example, the English class is from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. So we say the beginning and we say the end. Very good, very good. How about then? Do you remember how can we use then? Other action after one option. Very good. Imagine if you are talking and you are saying a series or events. So you say, you know what? Today I woke up early. I took a shower. Then I went to work. So you are giving a series of events. Very good. And the last one, until. How can we use until, do you remember? Hasta. All right. That is a translation, yes. So basically everyone, this is just to specify when the action finishes, right? So for example, I, uh, I got to sleep until 10 p.m. Right, so that's the moment you specify when the action ends. And you can even combine from with until. So the English class is from 8 p.m. until 10 p.m. So you can combine them. So everyone, are these time expressions clear? Yes or not? Very clear. All right. And the rest of you, everybody? Totally yes. clear? Yes. All right, excellent. Okay, we are going to do a practice, but before that, I'm going to check attendance. So remember, if you listen to your names, say present. Abigail Mejia. Present. Okay. Andrea Amalia. Present. Okay. Atilio Ernesto. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Alberto. Present Miss. Good. Celia Cristina. Present. Good. Henry Alberto. I'm here teacher. Good. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. All right. Um, let's see, Jose Ezequiel. Present teacher. Excellent, Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Very good, Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Very good, Karen Rocio. Present. All right. Um, Carla Sofia. Present. Very good. Carol Elizabeth. Present. Okay, Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. Good, Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay, Luis Miguel. Luis Miguel. Right. Nelson Orlando. Present. Okay. Eh, Sandra Abigail. Present. Good. Stephanie Michel. Present teacher. Jan Siquelita. And let's see, Jose Marvin. And Edwin Enrique. 
Present teacher. Very good. Excellent, everyone. So let's continue. We are going to have a practice about the time expressions. Let me share again the presentation. So we're going to focus on two in four and scenes. So I will share with you some sentences and you have to decide. Can I use four or scenes? Okay. Look at the number one. We have played golf. What do you think? Four or scenes? Four. 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 Two hours. Four. All right. How about the number two? Volunteer for reading, please. I want you to be a bet uh, since, I, since, since I was them. Since I was 10. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. yes. All right, very good. Okay, let's see. Volunteer, read the number three, please. They have been friends for a long time. Aha, uh -huh. everybody, do you agree? Yes. yes. Okay. Next, volunteer, please. Only one. Tony, go ahead. He hasn't drunk. Since we got there. Okay, since we got there. All right, next, please. Volunteer for reading the next one. Aha, uh -huh. so everybody, if you will go to intermediate, in intermediate level, you need to practice and participate. <laughs> Come on. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, let's, we start again this course. <laughs> okay, sorry, what was your question? Lots, you... lots of things have happened for uh, since then. Since then. Okay, very good. So everyone, participate. Unless you wanted to repeat. Do you want to repeat this level? I yeah. have. Oh. Uh -huh, very yes. Good. You want to repeat? <laughs> yes. Okay, do it, do it. Come on, you are ready for the intermediate. All right, uh, go ahead. Who was, who was reading? I have lived in Spain for uh -huh. 10 years. For 10 years, all right, very good. Next, volunteer, please. My parents, Parents need the bank since two days. Since two days? Are you sure? No. No, four teachers, sorry. All right, for two days. Okay. Next, volunteer. I've known her since she was born. All right. Next, please. We have been busy uh, since morning. <laughs> since morning, all right. And the last one, volunteer. Me? Yes. He has worked here for seven years. For seven years. Okay, everybody, these are the answers that you have. What do you think? Are all the answers correct? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, let's see. Ta, 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 ta. If you got a mistake, you cannot go to intermediate level. Wow, look at this. Perfect score. Nice job, nice job. Okay, so We can finish right now. <laughs> you are more than ready for the next level, right? Ah, but that is just the first exercise, okay? I want to see perfect score in all the exercises. Okay, super good with the exercise. Everybody, do you have any questions so far about this topic? No? Is it clear? 
Yes, teacher. All right. I hope so. I hope so. Okay. Another topic that we studied was the simple present. Do you remember this topic? Yes. Only one says yes. And the rest That's of you? Two. Yes. yes? Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> okay. Simple present, easy topic, right? When do we use simple presents? Basically, when we talk about routines, right? So repeated actions, routines, and we are going to check. Look at this. Here I got some sentences. And in these sentences, I have affirmatives, I have negatives, I have a third person, or plural. So we need to complete the sentences with the verbs in parentheses. Look at the number one. I don't get up early every morning. So affirmative. The next one is in negative. I don't get up late. So in the number two, in my family, we, can I say we has? No. What is the correct one? Don't have. Mm, but it's affirmative. We have. We have. Um, we have. Okay. We have breakfast together. But the next one is in negative. What is the auxiliary? Don't or doesn't? Don't. don't. We don't talk uh -huh. a lot. Ah, very good. But we don't talk a lot. Okay, number three, my mother just has. has has or have? Has. 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 Because it's third person. My mother just has coffee. She, negative. She doesn't, doesn't. eat. Okay, she, oops, doesn't, do I need the letter S? Doesn't eat? No. no. Never. Very good. Okay, the next one. My sister, affirmative. Studies. Studies. Ah, studies. Very good. My sister studies in the morning. She? She, she does. Does. She does her homework. She did. Oh, she did. Remember, simple present. Oh, she does. Yes, that's the one. Okay, how about my brother? My brother goes. goes, all right, on internet. Then he watches. 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 watches, very good, excellent. Now, what about the next one? My parents is in negative. Don't watch. Don't watch. Don't watch. Why cannot say doesn't? Because hey, it's them. Ah, it's very it. good. It's plural, right? Mm -hmm. How about the next one? They read the newspaper. Very good. Mm -hmm. So they read the newspaper. So you see everyone? Simple. In the simple present, what you need to remember is if it is third person, Okay, papita, Add si the quiere. letter S. If it is in negative, remember, auxiliary don't or doesn't, depending if it is third person or not. Is it clear, everyone? Yes. Yes, teacher. Any question about that topic? Yes, teacher. Questions? Tell me. No? Are you sure? Sure. Okay, very good. Okay, everyone, I hope so. Now, before continue, everyone, we are going to uh, complete the uh, survey. It's 8.30, so we are going to complete it right now. Give me one second. Let's see. Okay, if you see on WhatsApp's group, send some information, right? So you already know how to do it. Open up the link, please. 
open up the link of the survey is there on WhatsApp's group. Thank you, Tani. Yes, open up the link and you will see this. Okay. So the first things that you need to do is just copy the order, okay? The numbers that appears there. Remember, the first number is the ones that appears in the group. I'm going to share it with you. La orden de inicio is basically this number. Okay, I'm, I'm looking chick here. Can you see it? This is a number. It's the ones that appears in the group. Okay, so just copy and paste, copy and paste. Then don't forget your full names, all right? Your email address. Remember, use the email address that you use here in the program. Telephone number, don't forget it. Then if you are female or male, your department, where do you live? The municipality too. Don't forget to write the name of your company. And here in the name of the company that provides you the studies, remember that information also appears in the group. Ahí en el grupo les enviaron la información, okay? It's Inglés Corporativo, right? That is the one that you have to add in that part. Go ahead, please copy the information. And remember, the name of the course is Inglés Principiante Módulo 6. Módulo 6, so that is exactly the name that you need to add there, okay? So basically, this is information. In the next part, you just need to evaluate according to yourself, okay? Read the statements and you click in the um, option that you consider is the ones Teacher, for you. Yes? Sorry. Go ahead. I have a question. Uh, the name of, of course, Oh, tiene, yeah, sorry, sorry. It's, tiene las, tiene las comillas, pero no sé si eso hay que ponerlo. Tiene comillas. Oh, no, it's not necessary. Ah, no, okay. no, it's not necessary. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, it's not necessary, everyone. Just Inglés Principiante, módulo 6. Okay. Um, I don't remember the, the, the correct name that I need to write in the number of my company. Servicios laborales, o sea, se ve o servicio. I'm not sure. Okay, mm -hmm. let me see the ones that you have in the attendance. Give me a moment. In the attendance, you have servicios laborales, o sea, se ve. So, okay. yeah, you can put that one. Then remember everyone, you had to put la fecha en que inició el curso, la fecha en la que terminó, ahí les aparece en el mensajito de WhatsApp. Iniciamos el 30 de enero del 2023, finalizamos el 24 de enero, ¿ok? Veinticuatro de febrero. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 24 de febrero del 2023. Remember everyone, al final aparecen otras questions, right? Nombre del curso. I'm sorry? El nombre del curso. Como oh, inglés, principiante, módulo 6. 
Les voy a compartir toda la información um, en un pequeño box. Remember, all the information appears in WhatsApp's messages, but se los voy a compartir en la pantalla también para que lo puedan ver. Don teacher. All right. Remember, una vez que terminen, please, deben tomar a screenshot. All right. Al final, cuando ustedes terminen, les aparece un mensaje que dice thank you o gracias por llenar esta survey. Tómenle una captura de pantalla, please, y envíenla en WhatsApp group. Esa captura es bien importante porque ahí comprobamos que de verdad la han hecho. Ok. Así que al finalizar... Por favor, tomen captura de pantalla y envíenla al grupo. Right? Aquí está la información. Les estoy compartiendo en pantalla la información, everyone. Very good. Tenemos a Edwin. Thank you, Edwin. Así como Edwin envió la captura al grupo y adjuntó su nombre, así es como quiero que todos lo hagan. All right. Así que, please, no olviden tomar la captura de pantalla. Ok, Juan José también ya terminó. Thank you, Juan. Very good. Ok, three people already finished. Excellent. Very good. If you have questions or something that you don't understand, tell me, please. Okay, I can see seven people already finished. Very good. Everybody take the screenshots, please. Remember at the end, hay dos preguntas. Ahí pueden escribir sus comentarios o escribir qué otros cursos son de su interés. All right. Así que, also complete that questions, please. Okay, I can see nine people already send it. Thank you, very good. Nine, 10, 11, all right. Everybody has to do the uh, survey, please. Everyone, todos tienen que completarla, please. Aunque repitamos el módulo, vea, teacher. <laughs> yes, even if you want to repeat. <laughs> please. Okay. <laughs> you know, I will be teaching the same level next, next, uh, I mean, the next level I'm going to teach exactly the same. So if you want to repeat, you can stay here with me too. <laughs> so you okay. are, we hope, we hope <laughs> see you there. <laughs> so if you want to repeat you will be welcome to my class in the model six again <laughs> come on everyone juan jose don't be negative <laughs> my gosh okay I'm everyone uh-huh i'm realist 
Ah, come on. <laughs> the visa negative. Teacher, Manuel, can you check the platform, please? If if we have uh, uh -huh. finished it all. Of course, of course. Actually, yesterday night, I was checking some of the scores. I know that there are some people who hasn't finished yet, but let me share it, everyone. The ones who hasn't finished uh, the survey, please continue, continue. You have to finish. Okay, here we got the platform. Everybody remember everything has to be done. And I want to see a very good score in the total, okay? So here we go. I'm going to scroll down slowly so you can see your scores. Actually, oh gosh, Clarissa <laughs> with total score six. Yeah, I imagine, my goodness. <laughs> and total score two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know, I know. You know, I, I had to do some exercises when you asked me for help. So I had to verify the answers. So that's why I got to. Okay, look at this. Actually, congratulations everyone, because so far so good. I can see very good scores, right? I feel very proud of you, everybody. You are very responsible. Now let me share the next page. Go. Okay, look at this. Very, very good scores. Some of you got 99, so just for a little bit, you got 100. So very good job. So these are your grades. Everybody, super good job. Excellent. I feel very proud of you because everybody finished on time. So after the class, I'm going to send your scores and well, they will see your attendance scores, of course, but I hope everybody go to the intermediate level. Very good. But listen to me, everyone. Um, remember that <laughs> participation is important. I hear in the class, I can easily identify the people who always participate, the people who always talks in the class. But mm -hmm. I know that there are some others that I almost never listen to during the class. The more you practice, the more you will learn. So when you go to the intermediate level, everybody, take advantage of it, okay? Participate, don't be afraid to make mistakes. If you feel like, I, oh, everybody can and I can't. No, don't feel like that. At the contrary, if you have classmates that, hey, they are pro, they speak a lot, okay? You have to practice with them. You have to try to imitate them. Don't be afraid, okay? Because all of you want to be experts, yes or not? Ah, very good. So if you really want to learn, if you really want to get a good level of English, participate, okay? Practice, practice and practice. That's the key. Now, let's continue. Um, there is another topic that I want to see if you remember. We got the simple present and the present continues. What is the difference? Why is the present continuous? I don't remember. Can you explain me? The Things that are we uh, uh, happen at the moment. Habit. Uh huh. Okay. Simple present is for habit, and present continuous is happening in the moment. At the moment. Very good. Okay. Let's do a practice. I'm going to show you some sentences. You have to choose if you can complete the sentence with the simple present or with the present continuous. The first one says, excuse me. So what do you think? Do you speak? Are you speaking or you speak English? And the answer is no, sorry. So what do you think? What is the correct Option answer? Option A, do you speak English? Okay, do you agree everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. All right, let's move on. Number two, it says, I, what do you think? 
aren't very often doing sports, don't very often do sports, or don't do sports very often. Sí, don't do sports no, no, sí. very often. Okay. At the end, we are going to check the answers. And remember, you got to get 10. Number three, volunteer for reading. I'm hungry. Oh, yeah, I'm hungry. Uh huh. Well don't. I'm hungry. I want to eat something. So I want to eat, or I'm wanting, or I am want. Option That's A. One. I want. I, I want to eat something. I want to eat something. All right. Okay. What about the number four? What time does she does start? She start? Does she start? Yes. Does she start work on Fridays? Hmm, all right. Okay, here we got two answers. So uh, usually, what do you think? To work. But this week, I... I dream to... I usually dream to work, but right. this... I walk. Yes. Okay, letter A, everybody. Do you agree? I usually drive to work. Option C. I usually drive to work, but this uh, week yes, I, yes. I'm walking. Hmm. Okay, everybody. Do you agree? Or do you have another idea? Okay. I usually drive to work, but this week I walk. Okay, everybody, I need a final answer. Some of you say the letter A, some of you say the letter C. So which one? Make oh. a decision. Uh -huh. Letter A. Letter A? Letter A. Okay, let's move on. Next one. What do you think? I don't like coffee. I not like coffee or I'm not liking coffee. I prefer tea. Letter A. I don't like. Don't like. Okay. A. All right. Number seven, volunteer for reading. You can turn off the TV. I. I'm not watching it. I'm not watching it. Mm -hmm. Do you agree, everyone? I don't watch it. I don't watch it. So imagine the scenario. And you are in your house. So you say to your brother or to someone, uh, you can turn off the TV. I, what do you think? Uh, I don't watch I don't it watch or it. I'm not watching it. What do you think? Which one is better? I'm not watching. I'm not watching. Hi, uh -huh, everybody. Some of you say A, some of you say C. So, C. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Yes. If there okay. is one in letter C, the number five is to the letter C. In which number? In the number five, the previous page. Okay. What do you think, everybody? Do you think that in the number five is. Letter C too. I usually drive to work, but this yes. week I'm walking. I'm walking. Porque yes. si no sería yo camino. Yes, yo estoy caminando. All right. I don't know. We will check. Okay, let's continue. We are in the number eight. Seven, uh, eight. Uh -huh. There isn't any milk left in the fridge. We need... We need or we are needing to go some to buy some. Derby. We need with me. Okay, we need number nine. Just two more questions. Can I sit here? Somebody ta -ta -ta, in my seat. Option uh -huh. C. Okay, somebody, somebody is sitting. 
Okay. Yeah. In my seat. Uh -huh. Everybody, do you agree? Yes. Letter okay. A. Letter A. Somebody sits in my seat. Huh. Okay, everyone. Again, A or C. Huh. This is difficult. So, what do you think? Is there letter C? Letter C. Letter C. I guess it's letter C. Letter C. Okay. We got the last one. What? Da 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 da. Ah, I'm a dentist. What do you think? What do you do? Therapy. Are you doing? Okay, what do you do or what are you doing? No, he's, what he's do you... talking about. What do you do? Okay. What do you do? Do so, you do? What do you do? Yes. A dentist? Okay. Well, everyone, it's time to check your answers. Remember, I want to see a perfect score. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Uh. Oh, my goodness, everybody. Look at this. All your answers are correct. Very good job. I know that there are some scenarios a little bit confusing. You just have to think, is the action happening in this moment or not? Is this activity a routine or not? And remember, if you see frequency adverbs, it's definitely simple present. Okay, but good job, everyone. Excellent. You are more than ready to the intermediate level. Okay, you have two activities with a perfect score. Okay, okay. Now it's time to continue. I want to see perfect scores in all the activities, all right? Now, talking about simple present, we checked frequency adverbs. Do you remember? Yes. Yes. Okay. Always sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. What else? Rarely, seldom. Never. 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 Do never. Show. Ah. Always. 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 Very good. Very good. Almost never. Mm hmm. Sometimes. Okay, that's the one. Very good, very good. From okay. From time to time. From time to time, very good. So try to remember, you know the most common one, but remember, I gave you a list. So try to use the ones that are not so common. So those ones, you can memorize them. Now, do you remember the position of the frequency adverbs? After the verb. Okay. But en el ver to be, uh -huh. esto no. Mm. Ah, uh, no. En verbo to be after the verb. Okay. The okay. other before the verb. Ah, okay. Very good. Okay. Frequency other verb and complement. Okay, excellent. Okay, I got here some sentences, please. You have to rewrite the sentences using the frequency adverb that is in parentheses. So put them in the correct position. For example, I'm late for school in the morning. Where do I need to put this frequency adverb? After the verb. Okay, so mm -hmm. it will be like, I'm radically late, ladies? Yes. Everybody, do you agree? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I'm radically late for school in the morning. As your classmate said, if you have the verb to be, the frequency adverb goes after. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now in the number two, I don't have the verb to be in the number two. So what is the correct position? Some occasionally go. Okay. Some occasionally goes. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. 
Yes, remember, if you have a different verb, so in that case, the frequency adverb goes before. Okay, number three, volunteer for reading. What will be the sentence? Mm -hmm. And usually serve the net in the evening. All right, serves the net in the evening. Do you agree, everyone? Yeah. Very yes. good. Yes, definitely. Okay, number four, volunteer. The frequency adverb is never. My best friend uh -huh. never takes course at school. Okay, so can I say my best friend never take? Aha, uh -huh, very good. Never takes photos at the school. Very good job. And the last one, volunteer, please. Aha. Uh -huh. They are often. They are often uh -huh. at home in the evening. Very good. They are often at home in the evening. Very good. So everybody, look, it's very easy to identify the position of the frequency adverb. If you have the verb to be, put the frequency adverb after the verb to be. But if it is another verb, the frequency adverb is before the other verb. Is it clear the position, everyone? Yes, teacher. Can I yes. start a sentence with the frequency adverb? For example, imagine that instead of saying, my best friend never takes photos at the school, can I say something like, never uh, my best friend takes photos at the school? Can I say that? Can I start a sentence with the frequency adverb? Yes or no? What do you think? In some cases you can do it, but uh, you had to use a, a comma. Mm, okay, he got a point. He said that sometimes in some cases, if I use the frequency adverb never, can I do it? Yes I or remember no? No, yes. sometimes you can use before the ah, sentence. Ah, okay. Never, no, but Never sometimes? Know. Sometimes, yes. Ah, excellent job, everybody. Exactly. So if you say, for example, always, no, you can never use always at the beginning of the sentence or never or seldom, no. You can start a sentence with sometimes, like sometimes my best friend takes photos at the school. Usually my best friend takes photos at the school. In those scenarios, yes, but in the rest ones, never, okay? Is it clear, everyone, the position of the frequency adverbs? Yes? Teacher. Uh-huh. Only, only sometimes. Sometimes, After usually. That. Look, the most commons that can go at the beginnings are the ones that are longer. If you see sometimes, it's a very long word, right? Usually also, occasionally also, generally. So those are the ones that can be at the beginning, okay? But if you say always, never, often, no, those ones, you cannot put it at the beginning, okay? Is it okay. clear, everyone? Okay, yes. very good. Okay, I have a question for you, everybody. How healthy are you? Evaluate yourself. <laughs> Do you consider that you have a healthy life or not? No. Oh, Carla says no. Very fast says no. Okay. Why, Carla? Uh, 
I can't uh, eat fruit better than what because I don't like. <laughs> Ooh, only fast food. Huh. <laughs> okay. And the rest of you, everyone, do you consider yourself a healthy person or not? What do you think? Are you healthy? Yes, teacher. I think All right. Yes. Very good. Very good. So, and the rest of you? Being half, half thing. 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Look, we are going to do an activity, and in this activity, we are going to discover how healthy you are, okay? So pay attention here, everybody, because we are going to use always the frequency adverb. I have a survey, and you have to answer the survey just to see how healthy you are. For example, look at the first question. The first question says, how often do you cook? Okay, everybody, pick an answer. How often do you cook? Hardly ever, sometimes, often, or every day? What do you think? Tell me, how often do you cook? In my case, it's the letter A. Okay. Yes, teacher, letter A, hardly ever. Okay, now look at this. If you say letter A, letter A has one point, okay? So that means that you have one point. Okay, if you said, no teacher, I cook um, every day. Okay, if you pick every day, every day has four points. Okay, so I want to everybody write teacher, the answer sorry, and write sorry. the point. Uh -huh. teacher, sorry, in this case, uh, I don't cook, but my wife, my wife cooks. Mm. Well, that's a good point. <laughs> but the question says about you, how often do you cook? Well, let's see, let's see. And then you eat all that do your wife? Uh-huh, do you eat all, all the food or do you sometimes buy the food? Oh, yeah, out? yeah, let's see. For example, for example, in this case, when you go to work, do you have your lunch with you or do you buy the lunch? Oh, no, teacher, I, my wife cooks my lunch. Ah, okay, in that case, well, you can use it. If you say that every day, so you can pick every day. Because you eat what your wife eats, uh, cooks, okay? Now, everybody, do you answer the first question? Yes? ¿Ya vieron cuántos puntos tienen? Do you see your points? Only one point. Only yes. one point. <laughs> okay. Four now, points, Tony. Okay, let's move on to the question number two. How often do you go jogging? Remember, go jogging is like when you go running, okay? So, what is your answer in this question, everyone? Never, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> never. Okay. Or I use. Uh -oh. <laughs> if your answer is never, you have only one point. One point. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of you, everyone? How often do you go jogging? What do you think? Radically, sometimes, mm -hmm. often. Mm -hmm. well, in my case, never. Okay, so you got one In my point. car, often. Often, okay. If you put often, look at these. You got four oh. points. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, sleep is not sleep. a sport. Sleep is not a sport. Take a nap is not a sport. <laughs> okay, look at the next one. Do you smoke? Yes, sometimes, rather nah. or no? Nah. No. Ah, no. Are you sure? Yes, it's yes. four. Okay, good. If you say no, four points. Okay? 
Don't <laughs> smoke, guys. Don't smoke. That's not good. Okay, excellent. Now let's move on to the number four. How often? <laughs> this one is kind of funny. How often are you stressed? No, no, no. This <laughs> is not, not really. Oh, uh -huh. oh. Take a number Easy. one. Always. <laughs> Always. You know, I feel that Tony always says the letter A, so he got uh, only one point. Letter D. Letter D. Okay, so if you are always stressed, you got only one point. If you are never stressed, so you got four points. But come on, we live in El Salvador. I think that it is impossible that you say that you're never stressed. Never stressed. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Okay, all right. Next, number five. How often do you watch TV? Uh -huh. Every day. <laughs> every day. Okay. Never, never. Okay, never. if you say never. if you say every day is one point. Ah, now everybody says never. Not ah, Not be time. honest, be honest. Not you don't have time. time. You don't have time. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I believe you. That's true. That's true. Okay. <laughs> and the last question. Do you go to the gym? Never. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> okay. Donny, do you go to the gym? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Only one point. <laughs> I did it. Okay. If you, say, never, if, if I you need say to never, make exercise, I no need to, I, I don't need to go to the gym. Can I run in, in the park or in my street in front and, of my in my house? I, I don't know. I, I have another uh, <laughs> option to 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 make exercise. But do you do that? Do you go running? Uh, eventually mm -hmm. <laughs> okay all right okay. so maybe you don't go to the gym but if you do exercise okay that counts okay now everybody do you answer all the questions yes. now you have to uh, check your points for example in the number one if you get one point okay <laughs> one point plus one point, plus three points maybe, or two. So please check your points and you have to get the total, okay? Uh -huh, everybody, what is your total? Some of you, can you give me a total that you have? 16. 12. Okay, some of you got 12. What else? 14. 16. 14, some of you got 15. What, what 16. Else? Oh, 16, okay. 12. 12, all right. <laughs> Tony, doesn't, Tony doesn't want to say. Tony, how, how, what is your total? Hey, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> be honest. Yes, Tony, be honest. 13. <laughs> Which one? 13. 13, okay, yeah. okay. Who else? Anybody got 10? No, nobody? Anyone? Or less? Or or less? less? Uh -huh. <laughs> Doesn't want to say, right? I don't want to say names, but Tony. <laughs> Are you sure that you don't have 10? <laughs> okay, now, now that you got the points, let's see how healthy you are, everyone, okay? Look at this. If you have 22 to 24 points, that means that you are very healthy. In but... the line. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't listen to anyone say this amount of points, so, mm. okay. If you have from 18 to 22, that means that you are healthy. Not very healthy, but healthy, so that's good. But I didn't listen to anyone saying 18 or 22. Oh, my goodness. Now, if you say 13 to 17, that means that you are okay. I mean, not healthy, <laughs> but I mean, okay, right? And most of you are there. Oh, well, 12 doesn't count. 
So <laughs> most of you are there. Look, very good. Now mm -hmm. everybody, <laughs> if you got if you got six to twelve, <laughs> that means oops, you are not very healthy. So Carla, you are there, right? Tony. <laughs> No, Tony. the line 13, 13, 13. Ah, you got 13. <laughs> okay. So, everyone, if you see, I mean, I think that most of us are here, right? Or K, okay, or not very healthy, but we need to take care of our health. All right. I want you to be healthy, everyone. So, that was the practice about frequency adverbs. So, any questions, everyone, about Frequency adverbs? No. Nope. No? no okay, very good. Let's continue then, everyone. Now, let's review this topic. I know that this was your favorite topic, everyone. Do you remember Simple Past? Yes, teacher. Yes? Only one says yes. And the rest of you? Hmm. <laughs> okay, I have yes. another question for you. It's Friday, everyone. So tell me, did you have a good week or a bad week? Tell me. Uh huh. Bad week. A bad week. Why? What happened? Is stress. <laughs> So, okay. so it was a very stressing week? Yes. Okay, okay. And you, everyone, how was your week? Did good you have week. a good week? Good week, okay, why? Because I work, work, work only three days. <laughs> and why, why did you work only three days? vacation <laughs> ah okay good for you so basically you had a very relaxing week right yes yes good good for you it's, it's a oh a short short week <laughs> a short week definitely okay how many days how many days do you have for vacation Sorry? Sorry. How many days will you have for vacation? Uh, two days. Okay. So good yeah. for you. Good for you. <laughs> okay. Anyone else? Did you have a good week or a bad week? Busy. Atilio? Busy. Busy? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh, everyone. How about you? Busy, teacher. BC2? Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Anyone else? That Good be... week. Exhausting. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine that. Okay. Anyone else? How was your week? Good week or bad week? Teacher. Yes. For traffic that week was terrible yeah i imagine that <laughs> in the so, morning and in the afternoon yeah so everyone be honest do you think that the new law about the motorcycles is affecting the traffic or is always the same what do you think or not it's just the same because it's some the same only the first day uh, i saw a, a little change but um the what other days is is is, is the same the same the, the motorcycles don't respect the intermedial uh, um side the intermedial side or oh, and they always go in the middle or at the left or the right and, and don't respect mm. the, the full um, 
are ready. Uh, okay, the, the, the correct track. Yeah, so in that case, okay. it's the same, right? Okay, well, talking about good week or bad week, it's time to practice listening. Okay, I have here three people. They are going to talk about the kind of week that they had. So pay attention to the audio and you have to tell me if they had a fun week or a busy week or a relaxing week. I don't know. So you have to decide. Okay, so open your notebooks and answer in your notebooks. Microphones off, everybody. Remember, I want perfect score in this practice. Okay, I'm going to play the audio, everybody pay attention. If you cannot listen to the audio, please let me know. Oops, sorry, sorry, my bad, my bad. One. Hi, Laura, how are things going? Pretty good, but boy, thank goodness it's Friday. I'm exhausted. Really? Why is that? Well, because on Monday, my boss said I had to write a big report, and uh, I had to finish it Thursday. So I worked late Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday night. You did? Did you finish it on time? Yeah, thank goodness. But then my boss said I had to change some things. So I had to work late on it again Thursday and all day today. I mean, I didn't have a minute to relax all week. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But the good news is my boss loved the report. So now I get to present it next week at an important meeting. Two. Hey, Tyler. How are things? Pretty good, thanks. Actually, really good. I just got some great news. You did? What's that? You know I'm taking an art class. No, I didn't know. Yeah, I started last year. Well, anyway, I just finished a painting of my sister, and my teacher loved it. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and guess what? She wanted to put it in an art exhibit. That's amazing. And now she wants to buy it. How exciting. Yeah, for a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. I just sold a painting for one thousand dollars. Three. Lewis, how are you? Well, okay. Things aren't going too well, I guess. Oh, really? What happened? Well, you know, I got a job at a department store a couple of months ago. Yeah, I remember that. So last month, I bought a lot of new clothes and a computer, and I got an expensive new phone. You did? Great! Good for you. Yeah. But listen, I paid for it all with a credit card, but I didn't worry because I have this great job, right? Well, wrong. Oh, no. What happened? Last Friday, the store closed. Just like that. I mean, we all lost our jobs overnight. And now I can't pay my credit card bill. All right, everybody, do you have the answers or do you want to listen to it one more time? Please, one more time. Okay, no worries. I'm going to play it again, everybody. Pay attention. Remember, try to get the keywords. Microphones off, everyone. Pay attention. One. Hi, Laura. How are things going? Pretty good, but boy, thank goodness it's Friday. I'm exhausted. Really? Why is that? Well, because on Monday, my boss said I had to write a big report, and uh, I had to finish it Thursday. 
So I worked late Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday night. You did? Did you finish it on time? Yeah, thank goodness. But then my boss said I had to change some things. So I had to work late on it again Thursday and all day today. I mean, I didn't have a minute to relax all week. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But the good news is my boss loved the report. So now I get to present it next week at an important meeting. Two. Hey, Tyler. How are things? Pretty good, thanks. Actually, really good. I just got some great news. You did? What's that? You know I'm taking an art class. No, I didn't know. Yeah, I started last year. Well, anyway, I just finished a painting of my sister, and my teacher loved it. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and guess what? She wanted to put it in an art exhibit. That's amazing. And now she wants to buy it. How exciting! Yeah, for a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. I just sold a painting for one thousand dollars. Three. Louis, how are you? Well, okay. Things aren't going too well, I guess. Oh, really? What happened? Well, you know, I got a job at a department store a couple of months ago. Yeah, I remember that. So last month, I bought a lot of new clothes and a computer, and I got an expensive new phone. You did? Great! Good for you. Yeah. But listen, I paid for it all with a credit card, but I didn't worry because I have this great job, right? Well, wrong. Oh no! What happened? Last Friday, the store closed, just like that. I mean, we all lost our jobs overnight, and now I can't pay my credit card bill. Okay, everyone. Still, do you have the answers? Yes. Yes, I got it. Yes. Okay, so tell me, what kind of week did Laura have? Busy. Busy. Was it busy? Okay. Busy. Why? Because. Uh, he wrote the report, a very large report. All right. Mm -hmm. Exactly, right? Her boss uh, told her to do it again. So it was a lot of work. Very good. How about Tyler, everyone? What kind of week did he have? Exciting. 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 Okay, can you tell me why? Because he uh, try he finished paint paint a uh, uh, <laughs> no sé cómo decirle that. <laughs> okay, he finished a, a painting. Uh huh. Yes, and. He buy a paint for two hundred dollars. He mm. sold. No. He sold. <laughs> okay. He finished oh. the painting and he sold that painting for one thousand dollars. So imagine <laughs> that's a lot. So definitely, he had a very exciting week. How about Louis? What happened to him? Terrible. 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 Okay, why? Uh-huh. Because he don't pay 
the credit card bills. <laughs> ah, very good. He couldn't pay, right? The credit card bills. But why? Why didn't he pay? Because he lost his job. Excellent, very good. He lost his job, exactly. Super good, everyone. Very good listening. Okay, all the answers were correct. So perfect. Once again, you are ready for the intermediate level. Very good job. Okay, now always talking about if you have a good week or a bad week, I wanted to discuss these questions to your classmates. Ask them, did you have a good week or a bad week? But I want you to explain the reason why. So if you think, I, I have a good week, okay, tell me why. If you say, no, I have a terrible week, okay, but why, what happened, okay? Then we already practice, if you remember during the course, we practice, Yes, no questions, and we practice information questions. Do you remember that? Yes, do you remember the structure of the yes, no questions and information questions in simple past? Yes or not? Huh. Everyone? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I hope so. What is the auxiliary that I need in simple past? Did. 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 So, <laughs> listen, this is what I want you to have. When your classmate explain why they have a good week or why was it a bad week, I want you to continue the conversation and ask them questions. For example, imagine that your classmate said, hey, I had a really good week. I had to write a big essay, but I finished it. Okay, you can ask them question. For example, you can say, really, hey, did you get, and you can ask them, right? Hey, did you get an A? Or you can ask another type of questions. You can ask, for example, um, what was the subject, for example, okay? Or was it difficult, right? So I want you to ask just no questions or information questions with the verb to be or with another verb, okay? Let's do a practice. Let's see. Um, Edwin, did you have a good week or a bad week? I... Uh... <laughs> I I don't know. What <laughs> Decide. <laughs> Do you have a good week or a bad week? I have. Oh, I. Oh, I did. <laughs> I had. I, so you can say, I for example, uh, I had. Okay, I had a good week. Okay, perfect. Can you tell me why? Pay attention, everyone. Pay attention in the information uh, that he will provide. Because I worked only three days. <laughs> okay, only three days. Perfect. Think about this, everybody. Pay attention. He said, I worked only three days. What kind of questions can we ask him? Go ahead. Ask him questions about the information that he provided. Uh huh. What questions can you ask? Did you have, why did you work only three days? Ah, okay. Why did you work only two days? Very good. So in this case, Edwin, answer the question. Why did you work only two days? 
because I uh, I had vacation. Good. So you see, that is exactly what I want. Okay. Pay attention what your classmate said, y luego le tienen que hacer una pregunta. Okay. Se entiende la activity, everyone? Yeah, sure. Yes. So, yes, of course. I want to everybody pay a lot of attention what your classmate said. Okay? Because if you don't pay attention, ni siquiera van a saber qué preguntar. Right? It's like, ah, I didn't listen, so I don't know. No, right? So, pay a lot of attention what your classmate said, and then you had to ask him questions. That's the purpose for this activity, okay? So, I'm going to send the questions. Go ahead. Um, let's see. In the chat, I can see some people are asking for the link. What link do you want exactly? I'm sorry. because I don't know what is the link that you are asking for. I'm sorry. Okay, can you see the questions on WhatsApp groups? Yes. So remember everyone, I want you to ask questions, okay? Always ask the question to your classmates. So let's go to groups in this moment. Remember, I don't want to listen to Spanish, full English. Let's go to work. Good evening. I have a stomach ache. Uh, me too. I eat it, eat it, eat it, no, perdón. I ate. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm. I sick. <laughs> me too. And no, no, it's me too. Is Hello, everybody. I can see Henry and Carol. Can you participate, everyone? Uh, no, Miss. I attended class, but no participate. Sorry. All right. OK. Uh, in this case, everyone, I'm going to send you to different groups. OK? No worries. So you can listen to your classmates. No worries. Thanks. Because um, I uh, I had a employee that permit me to to use part of the time to work and to attend my father that was uh, sick. And hospitalized, hospitalized, hospitalized. Oh, okay. Hospitalized. And um, busy, but but a great week because he he still um, fighting with the with the with the pain and 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 he is still fighting. Uh, with us and and we uh, think that it's possible that uh, he recovered her her health. Okay. Okay. Uh, you hospitalized. My father was hospitalized. Hosp oh. Hospitalized oh. right now. 
Oh, thanks so much. Three, three, three days of hospitalized, hospitalized, and um, is still in, in there in, in, in the hospital. Oh, I hope to. I don't know how to you say better. <laughs> I, I hope to better. Okay, you hope that my father will be better. Thank you. Thank you. But I I need tell tell something. Okay. I I learning to to have a presentation to eliminate the the I don't know, to imagine uh, pictures to edit uh, cut the. Um, I don't know how to use a phone. Don't you sorry, teacher. <laughs> Background. Thanks. And I I use in my work to 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 tip. The trip or the T I P tip. Ah, okay. Yes. So, you, su so truco. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, my trick. Trick. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Um, I like my, my, I love my enterprise, my company. And uh, in all, in all types of, of presentation, I use my, my logo on my background. Um, I I was a, a ambassador of my 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 company, and this is the, this is the reason that I use this 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 background all the time. Oh, for me it's new, and thank you so much, Tony. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, the time is running. Um, yes. I'm going to 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 ask to to our classmate. Uh, Abby, are are you on vacation? I knew the the two two weeks to for vacation. Okay. And I need money for I going to vacation. Okay. Teacher, how do you say guardar? Keep. Keep, okay. Uh, or it depends. Are you talking about an object or are you talking about money? Object. Object. I, I keep that. I keep, I was keep the car of a, of a, in the agency to seven half p.m. <laughs> okay. So simple past is kept. Kept. Okay. I kept. The key, for example. Uh huh. I kept a car. Okay. Seven, seven half p.m. Mm -hmm. In in Santa Ana. All right. Yeah. I, so I, I I arrived to San Salvador more very 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 late. Okay. Uh -huh. Did you drive in traffic? No, no. Uh, uh, actually, when I come in to Sonsonate from Santa Ana, I find uh, two crashes cars and a big, a longer uh, car. ¿Cómo se decía? Fila de carros. Very, very much traffic. <laughs> and be, uh, then I going to buy a coffee. Uh, I going to bathroom. I I relax. And I take a road. Okay. It's a long a long week to me. <laughs> 
All right. Just be careful. Uh, remember, I'm going to, that is for future. Okay. If we are talking in past, we just need to say the verse in past. I took a coffee. I went. I saved. I kept. But we cannot say I'm going to because that is future. Okay. Okay. All right. Who's next? Ya lo había hecho. Okay, everybody already answer and ask? Just Henry and me. All right, so is Ezekiel, are you there? Okay, I think that he's not there. And Karen? Yes. So you already participated or not yet? No yet. I okay. Oh, okay. No worries. Okay. Okay, everyone. So in that case, if uh, I don't know if Ezekiel is there, I'm just going to check one more group and then we're going to go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Very good. Figaro. Um. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. No good. No good. Is there issues? Delicious. Um, <laughs> the cheese. Yeah. Other um, question, Carlitos? Yes. Um, this you uh, wake up on time? I what kind what goats what kind um, no, I, I not remember the old <laughs> um usually at seven AM hey. <laughs> You, Matilio? Um, usually, uh, uh, think of seven, no, five. Uh, I am. I wake up when I, I would got up same menu after seven. <laughs> At seven? Mm -hmm. Seven a.m. Oh. Only I drive. I drive. Right? Okay, time's up. Time's up. Time's up. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, we are going to wait for everyone. Some of your classmates are still in the breaking rooms. We are going to wait for them. Okay, let's wait for the rest of your classmates. Let's go back everyone. Time's up, time's up. All right, everybody. Aha, interesting questions. Very good. How was the practice, everyone? Aha, uh -huh. was it easy or difficult? 50-50. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did your classmate ask the questions when you were talking? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, were the questions correct 
I mean, a correct structure, correct auxiliary. Were the questions correct? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you understand the questions that your classmate asked? Yes. Yes, teacher. Uh, okay, all right, that's good, that's good. Okay, what is more difficult? Answer the questions or ask the questions? What do you think? What is more difficult oh, for you? Answer the questions. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Juan José, uh -huh. my gosh. No lo vamos a poner a repetir, lo vamos a mandar para el cinco, maybe. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Ay, come on. Don't say that. Okay, look. Very good job because I was listening that you tried. Okay. I was listening to some of you, right? Asking questions. Very good. Um, so just remember the structure. Okay. Sometimes, and this is like a very common mistake. When we are talking, sometimes we just say things like, eh, you, um, let's see, ah, you woke up late. So sometimes that's what we do. <gasps> you woke up late. So is this a question? Yes or no? No. Not the really. Auxiliary, auxiliary is not Did you wake up late? Very good. The correct one is, did you wake up late? Right? But sometimes we just say the affirmative sentence, but what we do is to give like the intonation, right? So for example, your classmate said, ah, I have a terrible week because a lot of work, a lot of traffic, and the questions that you ask is, ah, you worked a lot? Again, is that a question? No, Not right? You need the auxiliary. Exactly. This is just an affirmative sentence. So you cannot say, oh, you work a lot. No, that is not a question. The question is, did you work a lot? That's the correct question. So if you feel that asking the questions is difficult, practice the structure, everyone. Okay? Practice, practice. Now, before continue, I'm going to check attendance again. So you know what to do, everyone. When you listen to your names, say present. Uh, Abigail Mejia. Present. Very good. Andrea Amalia. Okay, Atilio Ernesto. Where is Atilio? Oh my gosh. Okay, um, Carlos Alberto. Si no me dicen present, no les voy a poner attendance. Celia Cristina. Celia. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. I didn't know. Celia. <laughs> I mean, Celia Cristina, he said. Okay. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Present teacher. All right. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Rocio. Present. Okay. Carla Sofia. Present. Okay. Carol Elizabeth. Okay. Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. All right. Lady Xiomara. Okay, Luis Miguel, Nelson Orlando, present. Okay, Sandra Abigail, um, Stephanie Michel, 
present teacher. Okay. Jan Siquelita. Jose Marvin. Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Now everybody, be careful with the attendance, okay? Because I can see some of you are not totally here, okay? The camera is off and they never speak. So be careful with that. Now, we don't have a lot of time. We are going to have the last practice about the simple past. And here we go. I got some surprises for you here. <laughs> so we are going to remember some past time words, some expressions that we use specifically in simple past. So you, I want you to tell me what did you do specifically in the time that here says. For example, in one of these boxes says yesterday. So you have to tell me what did you do yesterday? Okay, but I want details. I need a volunteer who wants to start. Who wants to go to intermediate level? Uh huh. No volunteers. Tony, thank you. Okay, Tony, give me a number. Tony, I cannot listen to you. Number seven, please. Okay, number seven. Let's see. Okay, what did you do last summer? Uh, the last summer in 2022. Mm -hmm. Okay. I went to the beach with my family. All right, what else? Mm, and we, uh, make the pass of make. Ah, verbs. And we made a barbecue. Ah, ah very good. With, uh, a lot of meat. I love meat. <laughs> <laughs> me too, me and, too. And I'm swan with my family in the pool. All right, very good, very good. Okay, Tony, pick one of your classmates, please. <laughs> <laughs> a victim. Uh, uh, my partner, Juan Jose Herrera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Juan, can you give me a Thank number? Thank you. Please? I promoted to the next level. Oh. Ah, very good. <laughs> I help return to five level. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay, give me a number, please. Two. Number two. Okay. So, easy. What did you do yesterday morning? Okay. Yesterday in the morning, I drove in the hard traffic for uh, three or four hours, I think. Yes. Oh and, my gosh. Yes, and only roll about 20 or 24 kilometers. Wow, sorry in for you. Del Norte. <laughs> Okay, sorry for yeah. you, bud. Good, simple pass. You see, you are ready to intermediate level. Very good. Okay, Juan, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Yes, Celia. Celia, thank you. Give me a number, please. Mm, 10. Okay. What did you do last year? I worked. <laughs> Work it. Can I say work it? Work. Ah, very work. good. What else? Um, I went to the beach and I ate. Then I sleep. Sleep? Sleep. Slept. 
Ah, <laughs> that's the one. Very good, very good. Okay, thank you, Celia. Can you pick one of your classmates, please? For a moment. Okay. Mm. Jose Ezequiel. Okay. Hello, Ezequiel. Can you give me a number, please? Okay. Uh, number five. Number five. Oh, okay. What did you do last week? Mm, I went to visit my my grandma. Um, and I worked too. Okay. Where yeah. where where does she live? Uh, she lives here in, in Samio too. Ah, all right. Okay. Very good. Very good. So can you pick one of your classmates, please? Okay, teacher, let me see. Um, Carla Sofia. Thank you. Carla, can you give me a number, please? Uh, number three. <laughs> number three. All right. What do you do a few days ago? Mm -hmm. I worked <laughs> and he ate. <laughs> Eight fast food? <laughs> yes. <laughs> My gosh. But what else? Before, besides worked and eating, what else do you do? Um, walked, walked in the street. <laughs> that's healthy, you there, see? So <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a little healthy. Very good, very good. Okay, Carla, pick someone, please. Um, I don't know. Only Ojen, uh, listen. <laughs> okay, Henry? You, Henry, okay. Hello, Henry, can you give me a number? Number six. Okay. What do you do three days ago? I I didn't go to the gym. <laughs> uh -huh. Because I stay in class. Okay. What was the topic? Hello? What was the topic? In the class, uh huh. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> uh -huh, everybody, what was the topic three days ago? Three days ago, <laughs> it's a real, a simple no, no simple past. <laughs> did and didn't. Uh, the use of did and didn't. Are you sure? I don't remember. <laughs> My gosh. Okay, okay. But you didn't go to the gym because you stayed in the class. <laughs> but you don't remember the topic, huh? What else did you do, Henry, three days ago? I did, I did, I did a work very early. Okay, I worked very early. Very early. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Okay, Henry, pick one of your classmates, please. Atilio. Atilio, can you give me a number, please? Atilin. Atilio, wake up. Are you there? I think that he slept. Atilio? No, he's not there. Okay. Um, Atilio. A volunteer, please, the one who hasn't participated. I have Stephanie, I have Karen. Um, Carol. Carol, too. So, volunteer, give me a number. Hi, please. Okay, thank you. Give me a number. Number one. All right. What did you do an hour ago? I, I participate to, to class. In English class. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Participate. That is in present. What is the past? In past, present, 
participate, participate. Participated. I... Okay. Participated, okay. What else? What else did you do an hour ago? Uh, uh, let me see. I, I ate my dinner. Ah, you were eating in the class. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, I'm sorry. It was that juice. It's, yeah. it, it's Friday. <laughs> we need pizza. Yeah, definitely. Okay, everybody, we finished. Number four, what did you do yesterday evening? Volunteer. Yesterday evening. Uh-huh. Only one, please, volunteer. What did you do yesterday evening? Oh, you don't want to go to intermediate level, my goodness. Me, teacher. Yes, Ezekiel, go ahead. Okay, uh, number nine. Oh, number nine, okay. Yes. Yesterday afternoon, what do you do? Afternoon, I... No sé cómo se dice, teacher. Try, try. Uh, yesterday uh, uh, I had a, a concert. A concert? Yes, that was the reason which I, I wouldn't be in class. So did you play the instrument? Yes, teacher. What instrument did you play? Uh, guitar. Very good. Where? Where was the concert? Uh, it was in Santa Rosa de Lima. Oh my gosh, everyone, we have an artist yes, here in the class. He's an international artist. For Santa real? Rosa de Lima is too, too, too far. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so Ezequiel, nice, very good. Congrats, Jose. Definitely. Okay, everyone, uh, we don't have more time. Thank you for all the ones that have participated. Now, this is the last class for the Model 6. Congratulations again. And congratulations. Super good job with the platform. Thank you so much for participating. Remember, the same attitude is the same attitude that you have to have during the intermediate level. You are a very nice group because you participate a lot. I mean, most of you, right? I know that you are tired because you worked a lot. I know, but here you are in the class, always willing to participate. So keep going, okay? Because you are doing a great job. I feel very proud of you. So Juan, yes, you will go to intermediate, okay? <laughs> My okay, okay everybody we don't have more time it's been a pleasure for me to stay here during this month with you i wish you the best of the best but please effort okay give the best of you in every single class and you i know i know that you will learn english but in a very good way okay so we don't have more time any questions before leaving everyone Questions? Thank you for all, teacher. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Yes, it's been thank a pleasure. you. We hope to see you again. I, we hope to see I you hope, again in next hope, level. <laughs> I hope you are our teacher in the next level. <laughs> if you want to be in Model 6 again, yes, I will be. <laughs> but, but maybe uh, later in advanced levels, right? Maybe we can see you again. Okay. So, ah, okay. but I don't want to listen mistakes, right? In the next levels. Perfect <laughs> English. <laughs> okay. So everybody take care, study a lot and goodbye. See you around okay. everyone. Bye, bye. 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 Everybody. Thanks take for care. All. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye.